Oh, I have got my microphone in the right spot. Oh, there we go. And we're back with the Golden Wake. Uh, did we hey, finish Doc? talking to Doc? Howdy, Banks. That's a good question. Ah, uh, we might as well. Everything going well for the development? Come on, Not Kelly. well, no. <gasps> Things are going gangbusters. Yeah. We're expanding every day and getting ever closer to the big project. Oh, yeah. Big project? You'll oh, find don't out. don't you worry. That will be revealed very soon. Mm. Tell me about yourself, Doc. How are things going for you? Not bad, not bad. Although, being cooped up in this office is starting to get to me. Aww. I'm itching to get back out into the field again. Oh, which something. reminds me, are you doing anything later today? I could use your help with something. Oh, sure. We love puzzles. I should have a little time available. What sort of help did you have in mind? I'm going to be conducting a demonstration for some prospective buyers, and I need a volunteer. But yeah, in order to fake. keep things under control, I can't just pick any old egg. I need a plant. Mm. So you want me to be your volunteer? Yes. If you'd be so kind. I'll have my cart set up in a field near the corner of Granada and Bird. Drop by this afternoon and I'll give you more details. Mm. Better hit the bricks. Righto. Yeah. All right, let's have a look. Let's speak to this man. I think we already did, but... Got a moment, Wilson? No. Nope. Of course, Banks. What oh, can no. I do for you? See you around. <laughs> so answer no. Let's go see George. Alfie, oh, George. Good to see swanky, you. Please, come swanky. In. How do you like the new office? I love it's it. It's a bit crowded, but much nicer looking than the one downtown. The success of Coral Gables isn't going to be about money or sales. It's about aesthetics. Mm. Well, you've certainly gone above and beyond in that department, sir. There's no need to be so formal. We're all a big family here. Please call me George. Okay, Fair George. Enough. What was it you wanted to see me about, George? Ah, yes, of course. I'm giving you a very special assignment. Ooh. We've been doing fantastic with sales thus far, but I've decided to try a new approach. Oh. I'm calling the project State Days. Each week, we'll bring down a group of people by bus from a different state. But it won't and just we'll be enough to show them. them around. We need something we'll more. Them. A spectacle. They're what kind they're of people spectacle? Wonder where they ah, are. this is where you come in. Ooh. I want you to ask around. See if you can find some sort of performer or show that will impress the crowds. I really wouldn't know where to begin. You're a resourceful young fellow. I'm sure you'll find something. You'll work Which it out. Which reminds me. Yeah, what else? Here you are. The keys to your own company Ooh. car. Should make getting around town much easier. No Swanky. Food. My own car? It's cheaper for us to have you drive yourself around rather than pay for taxi rides. You can drive, can't you? No! Well, I admit <laughs> I mean, it's been a while. No, I Just can. take care not to run into any ditches and you should be fine. No. Oh, and also, this telegram arrived for you this morning. Oh. I was going to send it along with my secretary, but you got here first. Oh, thanks. Now get to it. I've got a group from New York coming in two days and I want some entertainment for them. I'm on it. Mmm. Interesting. All right. Um, might George? as well talk to George yes, while you're here. Hello, Georgie. How is everything coming along? Wonderfully. Thank you for asking. Mm. Clearly, you can see progress by way of the new office, but we're also expanding to larger projects. I've got my Swanky head architect projects. designing a luxury pool, and mm. our largest project is in the initial phase. Mm. What exactly is this mysterious project I keep hearing about? You'll It'll find out. It'll be announced out. soon. I just need to iron out some details, but it mm. will be worth the wait, I can assure you. Swanky. Tell me about your spectacles. I'm having a bit of trouble thinking of a suitable spectacle for you. Put yourself in the shoes of the tourists. Hmm. Remember that what we're selling here is not land. It isn't just a piece of ground on which to put a house. What we are really selling is oh. romance. The stars and the moon, the tropics, the wind off the blue waters, and the perfume of flowers that never grew in northern climes. Lovely. You need to find something that will excite them even more than that. A sex That's watch. all for now. I mean, um... Oh, another painting or by Robert Byron. Serene landscape. But you wouldn't want to hang it in your living room. Why not? It's beautiful. The ornate hexagon hexagonical hexagonical bench looks as if it would have been better suited to a sultan's harem than a real estate office. Portrait of a young man by Samuel Sheen. The subject of the painting looks quite sullen. Perhaps he didn't like being painted in the nude. Maybe it was cold. Uh, it seems to be an artist's rendition of a tall tower. The plaque identifies it as La Griadala in Seville, Spain. A few paintings lean up against the wall, not quite ready. Yeah, what about this one? The Forest Spite by Reginald Kirk. It's some sort of fantasy setting. And while you particularly don't care for its subject matter, the palette's quite pleasing. Hmm. Hmm, George seems to be at home. Alright, we'll leave George alone so he doesn't have to just stand there. Uh, Alright, let's look at that uh, telegram. Oh, you read the telegram, which has been sent from your brother Beauregard. 
Alfie. Mother and four of your success in Florida. Have come to Miami to visit you. Have no personal contact details, just so send message to your office. Meet me at lunch at Gable Diner on Aragon Avenue. Looking forward to seeing you, Bo. You fold up the telegram and toss it away with mild annoyance. How like Beauregard to just show up when things are going so well for you. Still, he is your brother, so you make a note to meet him for lunch. Uh, might as well go meet him for lunch now. Ooh, and this is my swanky car, which doesn't quite fit in with the background, but it's still lovely. It's just a little bit too more detailed than the rest of it, but oh, that's alright. Whee! Alright, um, uh, Miami's Man's Club, the diner, Demo's Demo. Alright, let's go meet our bro bro. There he is! You look like my boss's assistant. Beauregard, how nice to see you. Oh, why so formal, Alfred? Alfred? Aren't you glad to see your brother? Of course, I just wish I'd had a bit more of a warning is all. Oh, come on. Who needs warnings with family? Anyway, let's have a seat. Uh, I was about some to people chew need my own a lot of warning. Waiting for you. I'm just saying. Oh, he's hungry. Alright, I guess I'll feed you. So, tell me what you've been up to. Magic. I've been doing fairly well, to be honest. I managed to get hired by George Merrick my first day down here. Mm. Well, ain't that just the berries? <laughs> that your heap out there? Yes, I was given a company car this morning. Hate to imagine what company it's been keeping. What's oh. that supposed to mean? I just figured oh, a high-profile guy Gabriel. like Merrick could afford something nicer, is all. Mm. All right, let's talk about our assignment. I'm working on an assignment at the moment. Oh yeah? What? I've been put in charge of finding a spectacle to sell lots to people coming in from out of town. Gonna spell no sell kidding. Some glasses. Sounds like fun. It's not fun, it's work. Mm -hmm. So, who's to say work can't be fun? That's You've true. You've never worked a day in your life, Bo. How would you know? Are you gonna start with that baloney again? Fair point. Anyhow, I have yet to find anything suitable. Well, if it helps. I overheard that guy over there talking about how his wife was a wing walker or something. Mm. Might be something worth looking into. You know, Maybe. it just might. Thank you, Bo. Why don't you Stevie. tell me what you've been up to? Not too much, really. I've kind of been in a rut, to tell the truth. I feel like I could use a change. Why don't you go to work for the company? Morris is still peeved at what happened with you. He hasn't been very... receptive. Huh. Oh. You know Look, I didn't do it, right? About that. You don't have to explain yourself, Alfie. I know you couldn't possibly have done what he says you did. Whatever really happened, you're better off having left that place. Thank you, Bo. I appreciate your support. Right. It's been great catching up with you, Bo, but I really should get going. How long are you planning on being in town to for? Do. Well, actually, I was considering moving down here too. Being with really? Mother. You're gonna leave Mother alone? Oh. She'll be fine. She's got plenty of friends in the neighborhood. Besides, it's gotten to the point where I'm feeling like more of a burden than a help. And she's actually letting little baby Bo come down here on his own? Knock it off, will ya? She doesn't mind it so much knowing you're here. Oh, that's anyway, true. I'll be here if you get any more time off today. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Bo, can you look after a cat for me? <laughs> Gabriel, what are you doing? <laughs> Well, let's let's talk to the lady. Pardon the interruption, folks. Huh? Oh, what can I do for you? I'm gonna introduce myself to you. Pleasure to meet you, sir. And madam, my name is Alfred Banks, but please call me Alfie. Alfie? How do you do, Alfie? The name's Richard Burns, but hmm. everyone calls me Curly. For Over some there's reason. there's my wife, Mabel Cody. Hmm. Pleasure's all mine, Mr. Banks. Are you folks from down here originally? No, we're just traveling around with our act. Oh. Your act? Sure, ain't you heard of Mabel Cody's Flying Circus? No, but I sure will have. I'm afraid I haven't. Please, tell me about it. Tell me Why, all. it's the most exciting and daring show you'll see all year. We got a biplane which flies unbelievably low to the ground, Ooh. and Mabel walks across the wings. We've been touring all across the state, impressing crowds in the hundreds. Ooh. Sounds exciting. Are you for hire? Always. Who's interested? Have you ever heard of George Merrick? Guy who's developing this area? Sure. Sure. Well, he's in need of a spectacle to entertain crowds he's planning on bringing in from out of state. Mm. I think your flying circus would fit the bill perfectly. Sounds good. But don't forget about our little issues, Curly. 
Can't they? Ah, of course. Is there a problem? What's the issue? A couple, actually. <laughs> but really, they're more minor setbacks than problems. Our pilot just quit to get married, so we haven't got anyone to fly our plane. Oh. Then there's the plane itself, which got a bit damaged during the last show. Oh, no. And, of course, the small issue of requiring payment in advance. Uh. But we can still talk business. <laughs> These are just minor setbacks that can be easily resolved, I'm sure. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you say you haven't got a pilot? Oh. At the moment, no. Like I said, our guy quit last week. I heard there's a pretty good pilot in town, but we haven't been able to get a hold of him. Oh, yeah, the Flynn or something like that. If we could get him on board, that would be just ducky. You say you haven't got a... Well, at oh, the yeah, moment... I heard there's a... Oh, yeah, we, we spoke could... about this plane. What's wrong with your plane? Nothing too serious. It's being worked on right now. The mechanic hmm. said it should be ready by next week. Uh. I don't know if Mr. Merrick wants to wait that long. Where's the plane now? Maybe I can see about speeding up the process. It's over at the airfield near Granada Boulevard. Hmm. And the payment? About your payment. Of course, of course. Our fee is $50 up front. Okay. That gets you a full show, which lasts 30 minutes. Uh. I'm afraid I haven't got that kind of money on me. Uh. I'll have to ask Mr. Merrick about it. Sure, sure, not a problem. Just let us know when you've got the dough. Okay, cool. I appreciate your time. No sweat, pal. All right, let's go out and search of that pilot. Hopefully Gabriel will sit, his, sit himself down. And that's the airfield. Oh, but maybe he, he will... Uh, oh, no, he's... So this is the other guy. I meant to go after the pilot. I want the pilot. Although we might as well speak to this guy while we're here. You might notice that this says... Mable instead of Mabel, but uh, that's actually like it, the lady was a real lady, and uh, in real life it was misspelt on the plane. You're no pilot. Speak to the mechanic. Hello there, my good man. Hello. Yes, sir. Curly and Mabel sent me to check up on things. How long before this beauty is up in the sky again? Shouldn't be more than a week. I'm kind of stuck waiting right now. There isn't much else I can do at the moment. Yeah. What is it you're waiting on? I have two parts on their way. One's a piece for the rudder, and the other's a magneto for the engine. Mm. What about, about this magneto you magneto. mentioned? Magneto. The magneto for the ignition is damaged, and I'm waiting on a replacement to come in. Huh. What sort of engine is it? A Curtis OX5. Fairly common engine in these types of planes. Some boats, too. Mm. Unreliable piece of junk, really. But they mostly get the job done. Except Any idea don't. where I'd be able to get one? Order from the manufacturer, like I did. Aside from that... Any place where there's lots of planes or boats would have them in spades. Like a marina? Hmm. I think that gives me an idea. By the way, where is the magneto usually found on the engine? Right at the bottom in front. Can't miss it. Can't miss it. Except if you do. How badly is the rudder damaged? See for yourself. Oh. Looks like something took a bite out of it. So yep. what are you waiting on to fix it? A new rudder top. Should be here in a few days. Is there anything that might be used as a substitute? Yeah. Any decent sized wooden plank would do in a pinch, sure. Hmm. Tell me about you look yourself. awfully young to be an airplane mechanic. How long have you been doing this for? Six months, next week. Oh. But I've been working on planes since I was a kid. My father was an airplane mechanic during the war, see? So he taught me everything he knew. I'll let you get on with it. Yeah. All right. See ya. And while you're uh, just staring... Would you mind terribly difference? if I borrowed one of your wrenches? Oh, thanks. Not as long as you bring it back, I don't. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll bring it back. I'll bring it back. I can't say I blame you for wanting to borrow it. That clunker looks like it needs to be serviced pretty soon. Hey, it's a pretty car. It's a very pretty car. Gabriel. <laughs> He's eyeing the things on my desk like, I could knock that over. You know, I usually don't misbehave like this young man. Sales office, diner. Uh, let's just head to the marina while we're here. I believe it's either on one of these things, but we do need to deal with this guy. Welcome to the Dinner Key Marina, sir. Please let me know if I can be of any assistance. Hmm. You've been avoiding boats as much as possible since you get terribly seasick. Oh. You probably can't afford to breathe in this yak's general direction, let alone yacht's direction. Uh, let them learn anything with it. And then there's a, a plane. The plane. There's a plane. Uh, and uh, we'll deal with that next time. We'll come back with more 
a golden wake. See you guys then. Bye bye. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you'd like to, please subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every day. And if you'd like to see videos before they hit YouTube, please consider my Patreon campaign. It really helps out on my game development while I make a lot of bands. Um, yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Bye-de-bye. -bye.